Hi guys, it's Eileen here, and I'm holding my camera. I am just showing you, this is day three of making these frames that I'm making for my signs, chalkboard signs, and I was actually not expecting it to take three days. I had to wait, or I had to save up on cardboard boxes to make the uh, chalkboard part and then we painted this um, chalkboard I found some really nice base paint at home hardware asked them to put it black and it was only eight dollars so that was great um, sorry for the wiggling and then um, I bought some unsanded grout and mix that in with the paint. I did it by cups, so I did two cups for each. Like I did two cups every time, so I wouldn't make too much. And two cups is like um, two tablespoons of grout going into that of paint. They say you could do any color that you have lying around, so that's really cool. Like I said, they had this great base there that they were just had it on the floor, somebody made or something, didn't use it, or whatever the case was, and I decided to utilize that and make chalkboard paint. So I have chalkboard paint for a lifetime, so we have lots of projects we can make with that, which is great. Um, and I thought for these, I'm going, I'm going to go further back here. For these signs, every year, sometimes, I'm sorry about my fingers, the uh, workshops for our conference are different sometimes. So th that's why I wanted to go with chalk. Um, years before, I think they were just making them out of just regular poster board at the, you know, setting up time, writing signs on the doors, putting them on the doors or by the doors for their workshops. So this year, we have something little more permanent it's not like with our budget I uh, want to do as cheap or as you know low cost with the best results <clears throat> as I can so that's what I got so this was a lot of cardboard saving up which is good um, and these, I p buy the pack at Walmart. I bought the pack of poster board, which is right over here. Uh, they have 10 in the pack, I believe. Yeah, 10 in the pack. So I bought three packs of those. Folded. I mean, this is not like great, great artistic work, but I folded them up, kind of put, placed to get the outside shape. I have a tracer now. And then I kind of put the the place the um, signs on the back, kind of made it like where where it is, and then went in. Oops! And went in and cut a little, add some glue to the paper, put it down, put duct tape on here. I mean, it's quick as possible and easy, and it looks great. And then I use my stencils and alcohol ink because I did not feel like painting. <laughs> all of these and I'm like these are papers so I didn't want them curling and I didn't want a big mess so and I used my purple uh, stampin up ink which that one here with the makeup brush I just put some uh, masking tape around it so I had a little handle and did that all the way around just to add a little bit of you know shading or whatnot it's not like most perfect. Sorry, guys. But I mean, I also am teaching the art journaling at this conference, so it kind of goes with with the artistic side of things. So I kind of like that idea. Now oh, here's my bubble gum, my my artsy. Uh, yeah, I chew gum. I chew gum. So. These are them. I'm going too fast, I'm sorry.
So I have a few more to make, which are over there. Um, I have about three on the chair, two on the board, three, four, five, six, seven more to make, and then I'm going to do a few extras that are blank because. I think we had like a surprise workshop or something. This is where all the speakers, the green room, the speakers will be at. So that's all it is and it's like, it feels like chalkboard. It writes really nice. So I like it. So that's my idea on the signs for the conference. I have a few big ones on the floor here. They're underneath this huge, huge one because I wanted to um, straighten them out and I didn't want kids walking directly on them so I put something to kind of protect them. So yeah, that's why that's there. Sorry, too fast. So here's my start of day three. <sighs> and Next here, I'm going to flip this over, throw my sign on top. So Cora and I have not made a crafting video yet. Do the I've been trying to do this, and then I have to also do the video, download it, and all that kind of stuff. And it just I have today is Friday, the 14th, I believe. No, the 11th, and. Um, I just really want to get these done. I have to go pick up my granddaughter today, too. So, <clears throat> next I'll be duct taping that. <clears throat> Gluing it, actually, and then duct taping it. So I'll be putting some glue along the edge here. This is where I kind of trace the sign. So I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I protect my dining room table with this party cloth that's on a roll from the probably from Dollarama or something like that or dollar or party store or whatever so that was easy okay I'm gonna get back to work talk to you guys later bye bye okay so here's an example I have the sign on the white paper that I just traced when I folded up in four I um, used my first one as a guide my cutout for the corner after I fold up in four just so that I have the kind of same frame look. I've done three frames here. There's three. So I'm going to grab um, a pencil. I'm going to kind of just go around a little bit and then I kind of have a guide to go within when I cut within that and give enough room for a little bit of gluing around the edges. So I don't know how well Sorry about the hands and whatnot in front of my camera here. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that. And even if it's... But that's the kind of thing I'm going to do. This is It's kind of crooked, the board, the way it was cut, but it's just an, an estimate. So I got it kind of marked out on each end here, so then I can kind of fold it up again, and then pick you up, have a bit of a guide, if you see the little bit of a pencil line, I'm just going to stay within that, so then I have gluing room. Yeah, then it's going to be framed. So hold on a second. So now I cut it out, and like it's not going to be obviously the straightest thing. There's no measuring and all that kind of stuff because this is just guesstimating because of the the lack of ability to get the cardboard and all that kind of stuff. So I have boxes I had to cut down and that kind of thing. I wasn't being precise on exact cuts and all that kind of stuff just because it would take me more hours and this is the way I work I guess 
So that would go behind there, like so. So this is the doll side of the poster board, which I'm going to spray on. And this is how it goes, see? Sorry, <laughs> I'm showing you the table. But this is how it goes, so I'm going to glue it down on the other side, a bead of glue all the way around after, duct tape it, and then there's our sign. So, that's how that one goes. And then I do each sign to its own size. Basically, the outside of the um, frame is all the same, but the dimensions on the inside, where this part is, are all a little bit different because the signage, each cardboard. <clears throat> Look at that. Got scrap paper or whatever. Um, each board is different. So with the, sorry for the wiggling guys, with the inks, this is my pink alcohol spray that I've made. You can see it's pink. I kind of put that down as a base. That and then the bright pink. Um, I thought that for one, the paper won't curl as much using the alcohol sprays. I can get a great design with my my um <clears throat> my stencils. Couldn't think of what they were called. So and that's why I chose to use that. Um as well. I love using my alcohol spray so it keeps me happier. <laughs> and it's cheap because I mean it's the, the, um, the alcohol whoops I actually have this is the bottles, the first bottles I used here from Dollarama and I just threw the marker pieces in you know, you break your marker down with a tool, a side cutter, some little mini side cutters I use for my jewelry. Break them down. I actually made more, um, what did I make more of? I think I made more purple. Nope. Made more blue, that's what it was. Or something like that, because one of them that's fuller. Maybe it was the pink. It was the pink. So I'm using that as one of the major bases, so I used a lot of that already. So I mean, Dollarama markers, that's what these are. Dollarama markers, see it's $1.50. Can you see that? I'm not aiming. Very great. And like I said, I got this from, this one was from the drugstore, but they had some as well at uh, Dollarama. But when I went to go buy it, I was at drugstore so I went there I'm going crazy you guys are probably getting like motion sickness so that's that I am um, <clears throat> I put my stencil down Remove my stencil, place it upside down over here. I'm not being like super duper picky on how where I place it and stuff. I just like to have all the patterns, and that's what I'm doing. Exactly what I'm doing. Some of them are a lot um, more. I'm just mixing up the patterns kind of everywhere. Actually, I'm going to flip it and do more spraying on there. It's that easy. Flip it. I'm <laughs> taping everything else. See? Get another stencil in here. Easy as that. Flip it over. Looks pretty. 
decent. Might change it to a different blue. I have a few stencils I'm using just so then I can get a nice bunch of patterns here. I can use the rose one. <coughs> What I've been doing to get the design. And then I like I heat tool it and then I throw a little ink around it, block, you know, rub my ink around it. So that's basically it. I'm gonna do a little bit more spraying, but that's basically it for <clears throat> my thing. So that's what I've been doing. Okay? Okay, so I duct taped that. I was sitting on it. Well, my leg on it. And I had to put the phone down because I couldn't handle the duct tape. Um, it's one-handed. And that's how it goes. Oops. And this is how it looks. Of course, you've seen all the other ones. Um, this time I actually didn't have any squeezing out of the glue. I could probably, oops, rub it down a bit. Get some of the glue to tack down. Um, by looking, it's looking good. So, now, I was thinking, how am I going to attach these to the wall of the school? <laughs> So if anyone has any ideas, um, I don't know, I was thinking about putting some kind of a string in the back, like you know when you hang a picture, and then have temporary little hooks that kind of stick to the wall, and then I don't know, WD-40, the stickiness off the wall after, because WD-40 works with that kind of thing, and oh, it works with crayons, everything, it's really great. <clears throat> I should do video on cleaning uh, stuff. There's so many tips in that, but I mean, anyway, whatever. So that's what that looks like. Another one on the pile. On the pile. So I'm going to make my, continue making them, but I just want to share a little bit of the process. Since I haven't made a video in two days now, and I miss Cora's crafting video due to busy busy look at the difference I love it see this is what keeping is keeping me kind of okay because everyone's a little bit different right if I was like I'm not one of those people that can do the um <clears throat> what's that called assembly line because <laughs> it would drive me nuts to do the same old same old I'm not one of those workers. People who could do that are very amazing because someone who could do the tedious same job over and over, yeah, we need people like that. They're just, I don't know, they must have great minds that keep them busy. But I have to entertain my mind with junk, so I, I'm just not, they're all different. Anyway, this one, I like that one, blue, blue. So that's keeping me kind of like okay with it because they're all so different. So I'm not getting too bored to death. The, the kits that I'm making, you guys seen the kits? Holy, is that ever hard to keep making the same old, same old thing? Holy, I can't even tell you guys. I had to stop making them for a bit, and I actually got to go back to making them because it was driving me absolutely nuts. <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, that's it for now. So I'm just going to continue my job. i got a few more signs left. I'm going to move it again. Um, I have 
Oh, there's Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Say hello. Say hello. Hey, Zoe. Say hello. Uh, squirrel. So I have um, boxing, I have Zumba, and I have makeup. This one's a small one, so I'm going to make a smaller frame, I think. Makeup, inner, inner beauty, and dating. And I have, like I said before, I have a couple spares. I have a couple bathroom ones that I'm not sure. I'm actually making frames in the bathroom ones. I think I'm going to make them into an arrow, arrow shape and have washroom on pointing to the washroom. Because these are perfect to cut into like an arrow shape. I've been having them upside down on my chairs here. So then they can... <clears throat> straighten out. This is just a piece of board. And ah, these ones here I gotta make a little frame for. They're going to go onto the table. Little signs. So I'm just gonna make a frame over this half or this area, the third of it. Oh, and then we have a big sign that has all the colors because we have bands and I made these with uh, poster markers and I had bought in vinyl lettering and just put them over and colored over and yeah I love how that turned out so I have to put that on one of my big boards so I probably will film that because that's going to be huge huge board refrigerator board or whatever so that's it for now